Hello there, it is Mad Science. Today we will see if two mantises can get along in the terrarium. Then we will add to them the neighbors, the stick insects, Phasmatode detachment, and the huge Australian stick insect. And watch the reaction of the mantises to uninvited guests. Interested? Let's go then! This video is an informative one. The video demonstrates the peculiarities of the behavior of stick insects and mantises who turned out to be on the same territory. Recently we received two small boxes. What was in them? Mantises. However, a small surprise was waiting for us inside. It turned out that one of them also contains a cocoon, from which after some time small mantises should appear. Want to see how this happens? Then write I want in the comments and don't forget to like this video. We will try to capture the process of the birth of little praying mantis and then let them go free into their natural habitat. Let's go back to our mantises. There are just two of them, green one and brown one. The green one was placed in the terrarium of the first place. He immediately began to explore the new territory, while his future neighbor peacefully sat in a box, waiting for his turn. It is noteworthy than recently, for some reason. The number of brown individuals of this species has significantly increased, although previously there were mostly green ones. Perhaps this is just a coincidence, but it's fact. At first, the green mantis behaves passively. It does not seem to notice the new inhabitant of the terrarium. However, the brown mantis immediately drew attention to the host, but also carefully ignores it. Peaceful coexistence did not last long. At first, the mantises were just on their guard, and later they attacked each other. The fight looks fierce, but pay attention to one detail. Mantises are not trying to bite each other, if could lead to serious injuries. The confrontation came down to the immobilization of the opponent. Perhaps they tried to protect themselves in this way. Let's recall that is one box. With brown mantis, we previously discovered a cocoon, hence it is a female. It is logical to assume that the green mantis is a male, and the fight reflects mating behavior of the species, probably at least once. All of you heard that the female mantis eats the male after mating, and of these individuals were not in such a relationship, the instinct can be felt. As a result, there is an aggression towards the opposite sex. The fight was becoming fiercer. Mantis moved from the tactic of the blocking the actions of an opponent to attempts to bite each other. We don't know how long the standoff would last. During the observations, we separated the combatants several times, but they again attacked each other. Perhaps you have seen similar fights of mantises in the wild. If so, tell us about it in the comments. For the purposes of the experiment, we decided to put stick insects to the mantises. Outwardly, they are very similar to ordinary green leaves. This protective mechanism, mimicry, allows insects to hide from predators. Perhaps new objects in the terrarium will be able to divert the mantises from the fight. In addition, we wonder if they will recognize living creatures in sticks, or they will take them as ordinary leaves. When new inhabitants appeared in the terrarium, the fight stopped, the mantises stopped, one of them was studying the stick insect, and the other one simply did not show any activity. Then the mantises got another neighbor, Macli stick insect, Ixtatosoma theoretum. Another name is Australian walking stick. Among its counterparts, this species is one of the largest in the world. With his appearance in the terrarium, the rest of the insects have calmed down. Most likely, it's because of the impressive size of Macli stick insect. In his presence, none of the other inhabitants hardly moved. The one of the mantis became an exception. It passed alongside Macli stick insect. It can be explained by the instinct of self-preservation. Insects did not understand whether a new object was a threat and preferred not to provoke its aggression. That is all for today. If it was interesting, do not forget to like and share the video with friends. Subscribe to the channel and you will see ever more instances about the life of wildlife in order not to miss new videos.
don't forget to click on the bell. It was Mad Science Channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon. And all together, from Russia with love. Из России с любовью.